In the second lesson of the number sense unit, we're going to learn about order of operations. And you may have learned order of operations already. Uh, and the mnemonic device that we use for that is bed mass. So that means do your brackets first. Whatever's inside brackets, do that first. Then if there are any exponents, do those. Division and multiplication in the order of left to right. And addition and subtraction in the order of left to right. Okay, so we'll just get started. Uh, evaluate the following expressions. 2 plus 6 times 4. I look at my order of operations. I don't have brackets. I don't have exponents. I do, however, have multiplication. So that has to happen first. Since this is an expression, I'm going to put just one equal sign down the side. And I'm going to rewrite the 2 because I haven't done anything with that yet. And I do 6 times 4, which is... 24 and now I can evaluate this 2 plus 24 is 26 26 and that's my final answer the next example is also pretty similar 4 minus 6 divided by 3 again I don't have brackets I don't have exponents I do have division and even though it comes second this is what I have to perform first so Again, one equal sign on the left-hand side. Since I have not yet done anything with the 4, I'm going to rewrite the 4, minus, and then in my head I'm going to think 6 divided by 3, well that's 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Next, 16 times 4 divided by 8. Well, in this case, because it's all division and multiplication, it doesn't really matter what the order is that we do. So what we're going to do is um, we're just going to go from it from left to right. Now, 16 times 4, that might be a little tough to do in your head. So you can break up the 16, and you can think of the 16 as 10 and 6. So 4 times 10 is 40. And 4 times 6 is 24, so 40 plus 24, that's equal to 64. And if you use a calculator, you can check that 16 times 4 is, in fact, 64. All I did here was I broke up the 16 into easier numbers. I still have to divide by 8, so I write divided by 8. And I know that 64 is actually just the perfect square of 8, or 8 times 8 is 64, so the answer there is... 8. Okay, moving on to the next one. I notice that in this case I have both brackets and exponents. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my brackets first. So inside these brackets I have 4 plus 2, well that's just 6, and then I'm going to square that. 2 to the power of 3 is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2 so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 6 to the power of 2 is just the same thing as saying 6 times 6. That's 36. And my final answer is 44. In this final example here, I have brackets, then divided by 4. I'm going to do my brackets first. And notice, guys, just one equal sign down the side each time. We cannot have multiple equal signs in one line, so just one equal sign down the side. 8 minus 4 is 4. Divided by 4, well, 4 divided by 4 is just 1. Next, we move on to uh, questions that look like fractions. So we have uh, a fraction bar, and the fraction bar is a division and a grouping symbol. And what we mean by grouping symbol is this fraction bar means that you have to do everything in the numerator first and then divide by your denominator. So that's what it means by grouping symbol. Do everything in your numerator first, then divide by the denominator. So if I look at my numerator first, I have 6 times 3 plus 2. Well, bed mass means that I'm going to have to multiply this first. So that means I'm going to have 6 times 3, that's 18, then plus 2, because I haven't yet added that, still divided by 5. 18 plus 2 is 20, 
divided by 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Next, 42 divided by 7, then divided by 2. Again, because there is a fraction bar here, I must do the numerator first, then divide by the denominator. So 42 divided by 7, 42 divided by 7 is 6 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. This question here gets a little bit more complicated because uh, we're adding an extra couple of things here. So as we can see, we have a bracket here, then we have an exponent, division, and then everything in the denominator. So this is going to be a multi-step problem, and I'm just going to do really one step at a time. So I'm just going to deal with uh, my numerator first. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just not even going to look at the denominator. I'm just going to deal with this numerator. And so I look at it, 3 plus, well, if I have brackets here, 15 divided by 5, I have to perform that because it's in brackets, and brackets is the first part of bed mass. So 15 divided by 5 is 3 squared. Notice that I ignore the denominator, so I'm just going to rewrite it because nothing has changed yet with the denominator. But I still have to rewrite it, otherwise I've changed the question. I look at this. This is an exponent, and the exponent is the second thing that you do in bed mass, and it is well before uh, addition. So I'm going to perform that. So 3 squared is 9, all divided by 2 minus 13 times 2. Now I can perform this addition and that will get me 12 over 2 minus 13 times 2. Looking at this fraction I can now look at my denominator 2 minus 13 times 2. Remember that multiplication comes first before addition and subtraction so this becomes 2 minus, and 13 times 2 is 26, so 2 minus 26. And that's still, there's still a 12 on top of that. Okay. 2 minus 26, well if I think about my number line, I've got a positive, t a positive 2 and I go back 26 spaces. So that's going to leave me with negative 24. Notice I have 12 over 24. I can reduce that because I know that 12 and 24 can both be divided by 2. And so I end up with, or sorry, rather, divided by 12. Apologies. Both divided by 12. So 12 divided by 12 is 1. And negative 24 divided by 12 is negative 2. All right. And then for my final answer, I'm just going to bring the negative up to the numerator, and that's now my final answer. The next page continues to get a little bit more complicated, um, but we're going to go through each of these examples together. So, if I look at this, think to yourself, which part are you going to do first? Since you have the negative 3 times the 2, that has to be performed first. So again, rewrite the 4 minus, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Well, we know that two negatives make a positive, right? A double negative makes a positive. So that means that 4 plus 6, and we end up with 10. If we look at example B, we have two brackets subtracted. So Again, we must do the brackets first. So 6 minus 4, that's 2, minus, and then negative 2 backwards 7 spaces, because we're subtracting 7. Well, that's going to be negative 9. But as we can see here, now we have a double negative. So negative and negative make a positive. 2 plus 9 equals 11. Next example here. This one is a bit of a tricky one because, as we can see here, in this case the negative is inside the bracket, and in this case the negative is outside the bracket, and those mean two very different things. 
And I'm going to write it out exactly what those things mean. So this first thing here means that the negative is here, and we have 5 times 5. In this case, if the negative is inside the bracket, that means that we have negative 3 times negative 3. As we can see, the negative is still inside the bracket. This right here, 5 times 5 is 25, but don't forget the negative is still outside as it was originally over here. In this case though, negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9. So we end up with negative 25 plus 9. And in that case, we should end up with negative 16. Moving right along, negative 48 divided by 6 over negative 4 divided by negative 2. I'm just going to rewrite um, the fraction bar and I'm just going to focus on the numerator. The numerator is negative 48 divided by 6. Well, 48 divided by 6 is 8, but since we have a negative divided by a positive, the answer will be negative. So that's going to be negative 8 negative 4 divided by negative 2, that's going to be uh, 2, and it's going to be positive because you have a negative divided by a negative. So negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4. Okay, so if I look at this next um, question right here, um, looks like I've got a lot of complex things going on, so I'm just going to take it one step at a time, and I'm going to focus on just the numerator first, and then I'm going to look at the denominator. So I'll rewrite my fraction bar, and just focus on the numerator. Well, what, do I have any brackets in the numerator? Well, this 2 is in the bracket, but there's nothing to do with it. Um, like, you don't have to add it or subtract it or anything. In fact, it's 2 to the power of 3. So I've got an exponent there, and I've got an exponent there. 4 squared is 16 minus 5, 2 to the power of 3, 2 cubed is 8, because it's 2 times 2, 4, and then times 2 again, 8. So that was just looking at the numerator. Now I can just look at the denominator. 3 times 2 minus 4 times 2 to the power of 4. Well, again, this one right here I've got to do because that one is an exponent. So I'm going to go 3 times 2 minus 4 times 16. Okay. As you can see, I'm just taking it into different parts. Okay, But I have to keep rewriting it every time I simplify it. Looking at the numerator, I have 16 minus 5 times 8. 5 times 8 comes first. That is... Um, 40. Okay, and then in the denominator, uh, 3 times 2 minus 4 times 16. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and we've already uh, found that 4 times 16 is 64. That was on the previous page. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to continue to simplify. Again, numerator only. 16 minus 40. 16 minus 40 is 24. 6 minus 64 is going to be 58. Okay, and so I have a fraction here. And um, I'm looking at this fraction, and I think it's divisible by 2, which means that I can divide the top and the bottom by 2. Then I would get 12 divided by 29. And I can't reduce that any further because 29 is actually a prime number. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to reduce that any further. That's the end of that question. Okay, the last part right there. F. Again, it looks more complex than it actually really is. Just remember that you have to do brackets first, then exponents, and then um, additions, uh, multiplication, then addition and subtraction.
All right, so let's just again look at the numerator there. 3 plus 81 divided by 9. Well, where did this 9 come from? Well, I knew that this is an exponent, so that has to get performed before anything else here can get performed. And then all divided by. And so this bracket has to get performed first, but within this bracket, I have an exponent. Well, 4 cubed is the same thing as saying 4 times 4 times 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4, again, we've done that one a couple of times, that is 64. So 64 divided by 2, then divided by 4, minus 2. Okay, looking at the numerator here, I've got um, 81 divided by 9 plus 3. And again, I'm focusing on this portion first because 81 divided by 9 is the division portion, so I'm going to do that first. And 81 divided by 9 is just 9 because 81 is the perfect square of 9. That means that 9 times 9 is 81. Uh, 64 divided by 2 is equal to 32. And then divided by 4 minus 2. Go back to my numerator. 3 plus 9 is 12. Look at my denominator. What will I do first? Division there. So 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8 minus 2. And I will get 12 divided by 6, which is simply just 6. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching. And um, the homework, I believe, is uh, listed on the next page.